Ruby is becoming a new litmus test for dating men. It's like a new question on a first date or your dating profile. What are your thoughts on the Barbie movie? Said one TikTok user who posted about her boyfriend's reaction to the film. So your thoughts should be, I, I only watch anime. I don't watch that shit. End of discussion. There you go. The whamons around the world are taking their boyfriends to see Barbie in hope of answering one fundamental question. Is, is he uh, enough? The, uh, across uh, social media, many whamons have been uh, encouraging one another to use the movie as a limits test to gauge whether their male dates can understand or at least be receptive to its feminazi messaging. <laughs> How to find out if your man can be brainwashed. I guess it, I guess it kind of works, huh? And Nicole uh, Heffler, I'm just going to say Nicole Heffer. The 32-year-old Whammons in Cologne, Germany, said that she is she calls it the Barbie test. How how original. How creative. It's better than the Bechdel test, I guess. Uh, it's like a new question uh, on the first date or your dating profile. What are your thoughts on the Barbie movie? Because if the guy doesn't really want to see it or he's not open to talking about it, uh, that's uh, what's even worse yet. If he's seen it and thinks it's not a good movie or doesn't get the point, I think, I think it's kind of a no-go. And see... Some guys, like, like red pill channels, may read something like this and they'd get mad and whatnot. It's like, I, I'm actually all for this. I am a hundred percent in favor of both men and women using these uh, make or break, like stupid ass tests like this. Oh, if you don't even want to see that shitty movie, then then uh, then we're not going to be together. I'm all for this. Because it, it it really quickly filters out people I wouldn't want to be with anyway. I, imagine if, if this relationship got to the point where they were getting married before the guy found out this is the kind of woman she was. Yeah, red pill channels are not really red pilled. Yeah, they're all PUAs now. PUAs and women. Now, to her pleasant surprise, her boyfriend passed with flying colors. Uh, Heifer, who shared her boyfriend. Okay, that just sounds funny. I, I know there's more to that sentence, but I just love it when it's, oh, who shared her boyfriend. <laughs> that sounds like current year. All right, who shared her boyfriend's reaction to the film on TikTok. Said she originally planned to glam up in a pink dress and enjoy the movie alone because she didn't expect to be interested in Barbie until he asked uh, to join her, digging up a baby pink shirt to match her outfit. Sounds like a real man, huh? She and several other women who spoke with nothing but crap news said uh, watching Barbie felt like seeing their everyday experiences showcased on the big screen. But uh, Heifer said that uh, despite, uh, after having heard so many men react to movie defensively, she felt lucky to have a partner who was actively wanting to discuss the impacts of patriarchy afterwards. <laughs> wow. That's a real man right there, huh? You got yourself, uh, you may as well just be a lesbian at this point. I don't know what you're doing dating. Uh, he just confirmed many things I always knew, like his empathy and how mostly intelligent he is, uh, Heifer said. I think it's easy for a whammons to understand the movie. Never expected him to get everything at this level. You know, he could also be, uh, he could also be uh, uh, playing 7D chess. Maybe she's a good lay and he knows exactly what she wants to hear to keep her around until he gets bored of her. I mean, let's not discount that possibility, to be perfectly fair. Now, part of the shock these women say comes from the assumption that men who are willing to engage in supportive conversation about feminism are hard to come by. Men are, but there's plenty of manginas, luckily for you. Katie Alvarez, 21, of Vancouver, British Columbia, posted in a viral TikTok video this week that she uh, can't relate to all the whamons lamenting that their boyfriend didn't understand the movie. Alvarez said her boyfriend suggested and planned the whole outing. <laughs> You mean girlfriend, including finding a Barbie-themed outfit for himself that specifically matched hers? <laughs> After the movie, she said he listened to and validated the thoughts she shared about navigating the world as a whammons. <laughs> this, this generation's fucked. If we ever get, if we ever have to have a draft, oh God, it's it's done. Now, I have a lot of friends who had boyfriends who were like, that has nothing to do with me or like, I'm not interested in that, so I don't want to go watch it. A lot of men just see Barbie and are like, no, but I think I'm surprised to have a man who let me have my opinion, not try to put his own spin on it. No, what what, what really gets me is, like, according to at least that, that, that first whammons, if a guy just said, I'm not interested in that, I want to watch something else. Oh, yeah, we're not dating then. All right. You know, guys should start doing the same thing with women then. 
Hey, uh, I'm a, I'm about to go watch the this this fucking super bloody action movie. Oh, I'm not interested. Okay, we're not dating anymore then. I wonder how women would react if guys started doing the same shit. Now, Hasna Bodera of uh, Dunkirk, France, in a TikTok video that she thinks discussions of Barbie will serve as a new test of compatibility when she goes on future dates with men. If the, they don't get the point, they're probably not a good match. Which, again, I don't mind this. The, the, it let the trash filter itself out. I'm fine with that. No, I think it would be great if men could uh, all watch it, uh, but there's an interview. Uh, I'd like them to understand. It's like taking a new point of view. They get to see how they make whammons feel. Spoiler alert, we know. We just don't care. Because we, we know you blow everything out of proportion. Raisa Azara, 21, of Jakarta, Indonesia, shares the sentiment. Oh, God. Even the Muslim whammons in Indonesia aren't safe. So all of you who think, oh, I'm just going to go get, uh, go to the third world, get a decent traditional waifu. <laughs> nope. So she found the movie's themes to be personally relatable and said she believes she, it can help audiences who haven't experienced women's hood, such as men or young children, better understand women's perspectives. That's why it's so funny, isn't it? It's like, that's what they bitch about? Now, after she watched Barbie with her boyfriend, she said he was eager to learn more about how she related to Barbie's experiences. Man, this entire article just reads fake to me. This this sounds to me like those, those uh, claims. Like, oh, my, my two-year-old got so offended at this. So I remember him saying that he realized how hard it was to be a wham. And so, uh, sure. Uh, he was, uh, he has been walking uh, a... He has been a walking green flag already, but he told me that after watching Barbie, he acknowledged a lot of things that at first he might not have seen. That dynamic seems to be rare among other couples, she said, based on stories shared from friends on, and on social media. Because of the movie's direct approach to feminazism, uh, as Zahra said, uh, she believes that how men respond to seeing Barbie could be an effective gauge of their respect for women. So once again, they're conflating distaste in feminazism with respect for women's okay so maybe there are men who hate the barbie movie but would still be a respect their girlfriend to, uh, to the extent that their girlfriend feels safe and all right with them but in my personal opinion that's a pretty good test to see the point of view of your boyfriend towards things for some seeing barbie also act as a catalyst for breaking up with incompatible partners <laughs> those guys dodged some bullets there like, wow, that dumb bitch really just break up with you over a movie? Like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm better off without her. So Teresa Ar Arzate, 27 of Dallas, said her ex-boyfriend's reaction to the theater was a wake-up call. Now she's looking for, a par for apartments as she prepares to move out next month. Oh, that, that guy's lucky, man. He really dodged that bullet. There were certain parts where he was like, oh, are you crying and dislike and total shock? And that just really upset me. So she can't because she couldn't handle when people are like, quit being a bitch. Now, his reaction to Barbie really just took me aback. Uh, this isn't the kind of partner I want to have. Great. Great. You, you probably did him a favor. So as a former military service member, she said that being a whammons in a male dominated space took a significant mental and emotional toll. And part of why many of the movie's uh, themes felt uh, felt validating to her experience. Oh, OK. D do you realize you're putting these guys in a position where they are men in a female-dominated space and it's taking a significant mental and emotional toll on them, and then you just keep abusing them and blame them for their reactions and break up with them? <laughs> You're so nice. It just was really moving for me. It really made me, feel, made me sad to feel like I'm doing everything that I can to really step into who I am as a Waymans and that I'm uh, having to leave my partner behind, not because I want to, because he just doesn't have the bandwidth to follow me. So I'm betting now, in a few years, this woman is going to be writing one of those articles like, oh, I had the perfect man, but I threw him away. But now uh, I, I tried to get back with him. But when I looked him up, he was uh, remarried and had three kids and was happy. And, and I'm miserable. I don't know what to do. That translation, she's the one who lacks bandwidth. I agree with that. Another this stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, enjoy the cat still 80. Yep. Future a dead egger.